Okay, we're here with the Teo Teo T-Force, just like everybody, the problems uh, of no sparking because of all the safety crap. Check out Brandon Robinson's video, uh, something about uh, Chinese ATV simple wiring trick. Brandon Robinson, he, he doesn't have many videos, but check him out. Uh, he helped us out a lot with his video. We're going to expand on that. Here's all the crap we got rid of, all the safety stuff. So, what you're going to do, let's get right on to it. That's, that's our CDI, we just use tape to uh, mount that as you can see here now he, Brandon used a four wire setup that will allow it to just start and get spark and start but that's no kill switch you know uh, he added his own kill switch in there so what you're gonna have here you got a gray wire let's see here try to get a better that's view our of this. kill switch the black and white is gonna be your kill switch and black. it's out of the center where the blue connector is yeah that's that black, was and a white. black and white striped wire okay and that's going to be your kill wire run run to your kill switch green wire is ground the yellow and black stripe directly to your coil the blue and white striped is to your stator and the red wire with i believe it's got a black stripe yeah, I think you're right. Black, red and black wire is also to the stator. So red and black wire. Straight to the stator. We use the same yeah, plug-in connections. Right, you don't even have to mess with those because they, they they're already there for you. All the four outside wires, the left, upper, lower, right, upper, and lower, are already going where they need to go for you. The, the black and white is the safety wire throughout the whole system. It, if your brake lever isn't isn't depressed, that's your black and white wire. If your little lanyard that you're supposed to hook to your to your body in case you fall off, and yeah, which is right there, obviously that's, on this other one, that's black and white wire as well. All the black and white ones are in the safety system, and they're all gone now. Yeah, as you can see, that's all the safety kind of junk we got rid of but like I say we're utilizing this kill switch and the start switch and how did we do that so coming down this is all original here the blue wire has to be connected to a positive source so we used a red wire and that goes straight to the solenoid on the positive post on the positive post of the solenoid right there and then in order and that's going to the start button. Yep, that goes from the start button. And so the blue wire that should be on your start button right now, go down. You're going to have to splice a piece of wire in. Go to your positive on your starter solenoid there. And then... The brown wire, which was the other wire for the start button, is going to be to the activation wire on the solenoid. It's going to provide the juice to activate the solenoid. And I did that just like that through the plug rather than I should have taken a little more time and used that but we don't need that anymore so we're just gonna say goodbye here's the black and black with a white stripe white with a black stripe anything you want to call it that's that safety kill goes to your CDI box and we've run a new wire to it it's just going to be a black wire. Yep, and by pressing, once that's connected, and, and uh, where's the other end going to? To the CDI box. To the CDI box, okay. That's the fifth wire. Okay, yeah, so the fifth wire that we were talking about earlier, which is this gray, black looking wire you see, that's the one in the dead center there, bottom lower, you'll have those three, it'll be in between the green which is ground and in between this red and black that will go and then obviously that goes into the CDI we're gonna do some taping up here clean neaten this all up but everything should work now got that plugged back in I have a kill switch we have the ignition switch, which is just going to basically power the headlights. It will not turn it on or off, but it will run the headlights. 
you know, that will allow your voltage regulator, all your headlights to go through the voltage regulator to keep them from blowing out and stuff. So it won't be living off the battery. We have all this is going to work too. So our kill switch is in the on position. Running. Shuts it off. And that's the only way you can shut it off is the kill switch. Yeah. Okay, so the kill switch, let's did we talk about everything here then? Mm-hmm. How's the kill switch wired? One more time. The kill switch is going the that black and white safety wire we talked about. Black and white safety wire. What but it's it? the it's the yellow and gray off the switch. Okay, the uh, yellow it, and the gray wire there, and that the, comes from this kill switch, and you'll see that on the inside of it when you have it apart. And on the other side of the plug, it's green with the black and with the white stripe, the safety wire. Yeah, black and white stripe we're just using because it was existing. We just snipped yeah. it off a little bit, and we came out from there. So we're going to neaten this up all guy. this wiring. We got rid of a bunch. We're going to... And this goes to the CDI box? Yep. This is yep. Our, to our CDI box on that center post yeah. on the back. Okay. We're going to neaten this up with some tape. And that's and the kill switch. And, and then once again, to make your starter thing still work, you're going to come out at that point, blue with a, to red. And, you know, that's just what we use. This wire, red wire we just used, you know. And you'll put that... Um, um, onto positive the positive post of your starter solenoid and then the other wire is the activation post the that's this one yeah yep, this one is the existing wire that was coming out we snipped off which is the green and yellow one you can tap into that uh, yeah, it's going to excite the go to the yellow and red wire and then plug this into this harness here as you can see which eventually leads to the solenoid that excites the solenoid and that tells it to start. Hopefully this helps somebody.